Okay. Um, I met Vishal in a music class, and we had both been in bands that had just ended, and so R. we start yeah, rest in peace. And we started um, jamming together, and I put out an ad on Facebook on the Western Mass music scene looking for a drummer, and Eli Catlin responded. And I didn't see it for a while because it was in like requests from people who weren't my friends. And then one day, like two days before the gig, I saw that his response, and so he came to my house, which at the time was a little freaky because I was like, oh, I'm letting some random guy come to my house, but <laughs> it's the best guy I've ever met. And yeah, since then, we've added Lydia. She goes to Smith, and I knew her uh, as being a phenomenal sax player, and Zeke is Lydia's friend. I think I'm everybody's friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't know. Like yeah. um, I don't know. Did any, does anybody else want to add anything? Um, yeah, I think that's it. We're all friends now, and that's yeah. we're, we're going good. One happy yeah. family. <laughs> As a group, uh, who, uh, what kind of bands are, are, are your influences? Um, we've gotten Hiatus Coyote a lot. Um, that's like, that would be like goals to Moon get Child. to that level. Moon Child, <laughs> Moon Child we've been compared to. Yeah, um, cool. I've, been, I've heard Washington. like Brandy Carlisle, but Brandy that's Carlisle. more rocky. Yeah, okay. yeah. Grateful Dead. We're a Grateful Dead cover band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some deep cuts, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you, uh, do you uh, write uh, songs as a group, or is there a principal or two principal songwriters uh, for the group? I think when the band started, I had just presented a lot of songs I had written, and but now I, I wouldn't consider them my songs because they have transformed so much. Like everybody in this group is a phenomenal musician and has added, you know, so much to the songwriting and to like fleshing out each song. And then some of the songs we've actually written together, like through jamming. Um, there's been other like instances like the um, that one blankets. Uh, Eli wrote all the chords, and then when we met that first time, I just like added a vocal part to it. Um, and we recently yeah, added the cool. bridge, so yeah. Setting development. Okay. I think yeah. we have like an ethos of listening. Like I know as a sax player, I do everything by ear, so naturally I have to listen to everyone around me, and I mostly just try to like. I kind of picture it like dancing around other people. Like when Anjali's singing, I'm like, how can I best lead her through <laughs> this imaginary room of notes? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> trying to waltz everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, one thing I, I, I bet a lot of people are curious about is the band name. How, how did you guys uh, 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 f uh, figure out to name yourselves uh, Ginger Libation? I think it was over a bottle of Ginger Libation. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Uh, I think we, yeah. no, we had a show coming up and we didn't have a name yet. Yeah, it was, and a, it was, it was just... a little bit of a last minute thing that we've debated of changing, but, but we, we, we all just were like, well, we, you know, we all like the drink, and, it's, and they're cool, cool people. And yeah, cool people. So, yeah, yeah, shout out to them, honestly. Yeah, shout out to Ginger Libation. <laughs> yeah. uh, without the S, Ginger Libation, good, great stuff. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so. But also for the purpose of, like, in the sense of, like, knowing that we kind of formed in Western Mass, and this is, like, a local brand that, like, people, like, enjoy and love, yeah. ourselves included, and, like, having that kind of valley identity to us yeah. as a band has been, like, yeah. sweet. Mm -hmm. Now, I know uh, uh, this session's performance is sort of like uh, Ginger Libation's swan, the song, the swan song, so to speak. Uh, what was it like uh, just uh, like playing together over the past couple of years? And do, uh, do you think in one shape or form uh, the band will continue, or uh, uh, where, where do you see the future? Deep question <laughs> for early 20-year-olds. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we've been playing now. It's our second year. Right. So we formed yeah. in the fall of last year. Um, Lydia is going to Cuba next semester, which is really exciting. Um, and so, yeah, we I, we haven't really talked about like the yeah. future. Discussed a relationship. Discussed, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it really is like a relationship when you form bands. Um, I, I think about moving to out of the country because <laughs> of the political climate sometimes and just for new experiences. Um, so. And I know that Michelle is applying to grad school. Yeah. Um, Eli has a really like prolific and beautiful solo career as a folk singer and blues guy. And Zeke is applying to grad school also. Yeah. 
So this is like uh, this is a question that we're answering right now. We've never yeah. about. Um, I hope to at least play next semester for the next couple of months until. Yeah. Mm. Well, we're glad to have you guys on to perform. Thank you so much for your libations. Thank, Thank you for having us.